All right, another fantastic Monday mail day going on. Eight orders on the screen. No particular order going to be opening these up. Some bigger cards today. I believe there's no card under $20, and I think maybe $250, $300 is the larger cards. And there's some big cards on the way. So there's some inter interesting cards, more so PC and I think to, to resell, starting with possibly resell. We'll check this out. Heavy to the right, now that I'm seeing this, I think I just kind of pulled the trigger loosey-goosey if I got it cheap. Something special on the cereal, but your 2015 camo Hall of Famer Adrian Peterson on that bad boy. We'll go to this thing. I don't know what's in there. It's a pretty thick package, but moving on to the, the next one. It's always a surprise. So going heavy on this set. I actually just purchased. No, I thought it was a Heroes, but it's an All American Heroes or. Great American Heroes set. I just purchased an orange of George Kittle. If you don't know, and many of you already do, PC Kittle. I already have this in a 10. Maybe I'll try to get two 10s. It's out of 25. But the special part of it is it's a bookend. I love bookends or jersey numbers. When it comes to those cereals, try to find rare cards. Although there's just so many rare cards in the world now. Everything looks like we have a Com C order with one, you see that in there? One little styrofoam. They just felt the need. Like, what, what's the idea about that? We're like, oh, we're just going to put, what's the point of that? We're just going to put one little popcorn in there. These are to resell. I got these pretty cheap. On the cheap, on the low low is like maybe what they say. 1999 refractor Marvin Harrison. These were numbered out of 999. No, they're not. The 2000s? <laughs> 2000s. I think the 2000s is what I'm talking about that were numbered out of 900. These were not numbered, obviously. It's a little to the right. I just kind of compiled both these cards together. This one I'm pretty excited about. It is a gold out of 99. Or tops pristine with that what is that that decorative edge I don't know the uh, I don't remember the exact words some people call it die cut there's many different terms on the edging there some people like it some people don't it is what it is for me it's unique to say <laughs> something about it I would suppose all right, I think there's a bigger card in here, so I'm going to save that for last. That's always DC Sports. Uh, we'll go this package, and we'll get these like this. Thanks for joining me today. If this is your... Oh, look at this one. These are... This is sweet. I want to buy some of these. I love when they have this little pull tab to get the card out. It's so much easier than having a... If you actually use it right, although they taped it, I'm not quite sure if this is going to work out for us. Kind of did. We're just going to, nah. <laughs> Thought we were. Thought we were going to have it all figured out, but not so much today. Get through the day. Oh, yeah, this is, oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever word I just said. Good look at Willie's Maze card here. I don't have this one in my set. I thought it was pretty well centered. It popped up on eBay really quick, lower than I think what others were selling. So I just, I think I might have sent an offer out on it. I can't recall, but I'm a centering guy and I felt this was pretty well centered. Yes, as the edges are worn, but I am going after the playing years of Willie Mays. So that'll eventually go out with a whole bunch of other cards to be graded. Other vintage cards, specifically, I should say. Some more filler cards here. Let's see what's in this. It's going to be the Julian Edelman. This is a mini of 2015. These are numbered out of five. It is a bookend 
one of five. So they're a lot smaller than your typical card size, as you can see. That's the size difference using a normal card. So they're significantly smaller. This would be purely for grading and resell. I don't have an interest to hold this. It's a pretty expensive card, I think. There's a probably strong collector for Julian Edelman, Edelman that might have an interest. It is obviously a horizontal landscape card, so it's a little bit less desirable, especially in a 2015 year. But it's not a huge desirable set. But still, I felt like it was a solid opportunity to get involved with. And what do we have here? Ooh. This was an opportunity, excuse the bubble wrap, where I was bidding on a card and then I looked through his other cards on his store and said, you know what, I'm going to get get this other card as well, which is the one here. I can't remember which card. I hate when scotch tape is on these, though. I don't ever put scotch tape on any baseball cards. Even if it's sleeves. Now I have this little piece of scotch tape. That I just, let me see if I can get a solid peel. The, the thing is, they're just so difficult to peel. Excuse me. I apologize for the seller. If you sell on eBay, and you sell cards specifically, do not ever, ever use scotch tape. Painter's tape. Masking tape. Any of those variations. Only. Only. Got some free top loaders. All right. Everything's still... More scotch tape. It's just everywhere. All right. I can't remember which... I think this was the card I was going after. Which actually is kind of an interesting card. There's different colors with the cereals. But this is a 2002. Bowman's Best... So it's the red. I, I don't know the name. If this is an actual insert, I don't think this. I'm not quite sure if this is a parallel. I don't know too much about it. <laughs> I should, but I don't. But I'm just kind of compiling refractors or low numbered stuff. This one's pretty cool. It's called an atomic refractor. He's actually a little bit more rare than there's the base refractor, I suppose. So another Bowman's Best. A couple of Bowman's Best of Bonds there. To add to the stockpile that I'm accumulating. I haven't really graded much or bought much of Bonds Refractors, 90s Refractors. But this... I thought this was DC Sports, but I think this is the card that's... It's expensive. This is DC. I thought I bought it from DC Sports. But what I just opened was not DC Sports. So maybe it was being sold on DC Sports and then not shipped from there. I just put a whole bunch of garbage. So we'll open this. I think these are might be some bigger cards too. But I don't think they're as big as the card I was just about to open. So this is a good one, a little three card lot here to save on shipping. JJ Watt, Refractor, is a rookie card. Some of you may have seen that card before. It's not too expensive, I think it's around $20 you can pick that up for. This is a green, numbered out of 99. Posey, the thick top loader for not so thick card. I have quite a few of his green refractors. And then we have a ruby out of 2021. 20, flawless. Don't know all the years flawless design sets for each year. But I've been buying a lot. <laughs> so George Kill, add to the PC. All right, and then the big card. I tried to get a black refractor of this card. And it was only like $200 more, and I just missed out. And I was like, I've been wanting this card for a while. So I got the refractor version of it. 
It was a 2001 Topps Chrome of Steve Smith, his rookie card. And earlier in the video, I was saying how things are numbered at a 99. This is the year set numbered at a 99. 2001. Did I even say 2000? I think I even said 2000. 2000. I'm trying to remember what 2000 looks like. Because this is 99, 2000. It's lapsing me. But, oh yeah, 2000. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not going to, my brain's in a fog right now. Looked really well centered. So, we're going to send this bad boy in. See what it gets. Hopefully surface is clean. It does look pretty clean. Looks pretty well centered. Pretty pretty excited for this one. I actually have one in hand. It's been a while since I've been able to get one. So and been having that on my my wish list. Definitely gonna get piled towards the top ten. I'm gonna be doing a top ten video, I think, on Anquan Bolden, because I am exceeded my max limit of cards I can hold for him. So I'm going to have to get rid of some cards and I'm going to be doing an interesting video. Maybe you get choose which card I get rid of. All right. Thanks for watching. That's all we have for our Monday meal day viewing pleasure today. Thanks for watching. Of course, as always, have a good one.